Hello everyone, and welcome back. This is a sequel to my other video, Fallout New Vegas, but anime, but this time it's Fallout New Vegas Creatures. So, this one's even more cursed than the last one, because uh, of the photos themselves, it creates weirder things, and for a lot of these, it is just the PNG kind of clear images from the wikis, because surprisingly there aren't that many great pictures of the creatures, but the thing is, is that does make the backgrounds less interesting, but it does make the actual morphs weirder looking, so I think it's a decent trade-off. With that said, let's get into it. So first off, we have the Lake Lurk. Now, for this one, it came out decently, it has the uh, T-Pose thing, besides that it's not super interesting. Uh, this one, however, does have the webbing arm bits, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, now, the ghost from Dead Money. Now, this is one of the ones that did have a background, and it came out somewhat cursed, like the mouth here and stuff. Uh, you know, and for this one, same kind of thing. Not too bad. The backgrounds actually fit Dead Money uh, somewhat, so that was interesting. Now for the tunnelers from Lonesome Road, and now since it's one of the background things, it tries to fit the mold better, and yeah, this is pretty weird, like, it's got like two legs, a tail kind of thing, and some weird symbols, and this one actually has like, an extra limb, and yeah, with the neck, yeah, pretty creepy ones, not gonna lie. Now for the fire gecko in particular, and these ones actually came out pretty good, like, that just looks like it's from a random anime, and um, this one, however, looks like it's wearing a really weird mask, and it came out a lot different. It also looks like it's only got, like, two hands holding it up, so that one was pretty cursed. Now, for the centaurs, which I was expecting to be weird, because the centaurs are pretty fucking weird. Now, for this one, it's just, like, the limbs are kind of fucked, and one of the tongue things has turned into something for both of them. So, yeah, you know, abominations, I'll say that much. Pretty odd. Now we've got the Spore Creatures from Honest Hearts and Vault 34, and these ones came out pretty odd as well. You know, it keeps the spikes on their backs, and yeah, it was um, kind of weird one as well. Now for the Cazador, and I thought this was going to turn into some horrid monster, but no, it really just did that thing where you put yourself in between two wings and take a photo. Uh, so that was pretty interesting, it takes the coloration of the wings and just makes it as a background, so that was uh, pretty cool. Time for the Rad Scorpion, and this came out quite odd with the amount of limbs and the faces at the tail. Uh, again, like this, this is probably one of the most cursed ones because it looks quite odd. Now for the Fire Ants, and this was just one of the funnier ones, like um... You know, anime AI doing what it does best and um, <coughs> turning things into um, other things, although it is still quite cursed. Now for the giant mantis, and this was basically the one of the most odd types because of the body, and yeah, you can kind of see, you know, these weird, weird looking um, legs that it's got a head in the center, and this one here, that is just like three random objects put together, so yeah, probably one of the stranger ones that I saw. Now for the Mr. Gusty robot, because this will be our first robot that we do, and this just uh, it was, you know, it turns them into two people with some really weird feet things, and it does the same kind of thing with this one, but yeah, you know, not too messed up. Keeping with the themes of robots, we've got the Robo Scorpions from Old World Blues, and these are quite weird because their face goes into that part and same thing happens for this one, so yeah, pretty odd ones as well, you know. Similar to the Cazador, I thought that the fly would create some really odd things, but no, it just kind of creates a person with some random like things hanging above them, and it kind of looks attached, but you know, not super cursed. Now for a Nightkin, which I technically kind of did with Lily in the first video, but hey, you know. And for this one, eh, didn't do anything particularly interesting, it just kind of gave him like a weird modern outfit, except for this one with the mask obviously, but you know, not too bad. Now, how do you think it would work with a red roach? And yep, there you go, it is horrible nightmares, it is disgusting, disturbing, it is horrific, and so is this one, and it's got a face, and oh my god. So Fester is actually really a character, but hey, it's a robot, so whatever. And besides the long neck and uncanny looking faces, these ones weren't that bad, so I didn't think that this was too strange.
Now, time for another robot, the Robo Brain. And these ones came out quite good, which is why there's a decent amount of them. It just kind of creates like a weird human robot hybrid, which makes sense because that's what the Robo Brain already is. But I like the, the short, weird feet that they end up having. And this one is just um, really quite odd. This is probably the weirdest one from this collection. You know, but um, besides that one, these came out uh, pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and this one looks like they've got their head frozen. Oh, another technically character, but still a robot, we've got the Toaster from Old World Blues. And um, it kind of just put a face on it, <laughs> on it. Um, and with some weird backgrounds, and that one is pretty uh, disturbing, not gonna lie. It looks rabid. And that's a weird vampire thing, you know. These ones, it just kind of molded the flesh together. <laughs> and it, yeah, it's a weird one. Keeping with the theme of technically characters, but also robots from Old World Blues, you've got Muggy, and these ones just came out uh, semi-normal, you know, they're a little bit uncanny, but considering some of the other things I've seen today, I mean, that one's probably the weirdest, uh, they're not too bad, you know, this one actually keeps, like, the face thing for the robot, so that was interesting. Now, for a Century Bot, and this one also came out quite interestingly, because it kind of just... Uh, messes up their legs and hands with the weapon and some of these like this one came out you know pretty cool actually and then some are a bit more goofy obviously you know so this one it's like an actual gun it's like the closest thing to being a proper weapon in the whole thing and yeah just another goofy one so this one was a bit of a mixed bag to be honest for the glowing one and I was expecting honestly bigger things from this because they're ghouls but hey whatever it just kind of creates like demon faced guys in hoodies um, in both of these so you know could have been better but hey whatever and now for the actual ghouls it's uh, kind of more of the same to be honest it just kind of creates guys in hoodies which is a little bit disappointing but hey whatever I guess they are the most humanoid so it makes sense for the Yao Guai, which created quite a few cursed ones, including the one you saw in the thumbnail, because it kind of just makes a person, like, lying half down, and it comes out quite creepy. Like, this one's neck is super messed up, you know? This one is quite odd, with a, a really weird face, if I'm being honest. And, you know, just a lot of creepy nightmare fuel came out of the Yao Guai one, including this one, which is hardly a face, I would say. Now for a big horner. The thing about this is, unlike a lot of them, it didn't morph into like a person, it just did this r really weird stuff and gave it a jacket and an awful face and a hole in this one's head, you know, and photorealistic hair looking stuff. This looks like a Pokemon though. And um, this face, which like, just what the hell. Also the horns turned to hair. Time for the Brahmin, which just came out really odd. Like, for this one, it's a person, but like, with the Brahmin eyes super stylized, you know? And then this one, it's like, a really weird mouth with like an anime thing attached to it, you know? And then, again, this has got two heads, but it's really weird looking. And then it does the same thing, so these ones were just really distorted. Iron Rat. So, let's see how this came out, shall we? Because this is what those kids in Freeside are chasing. So, yep, a cursed person with some really weird body parts. Uh, another thing that's more like a rat. And the tail gets weird things done to it every time. Same thing with this again, but that looks more ghostly. For the Night Stalker, the Snake Dog Abominations. And that's got a really goofy, weird looking face. And that just looks like a Pokemon, so yeah, for, for some of them, it just kind of stylizes them. Now for the Raven, which is probably one of the weirdest creatures in New Vegas, because you hardly see them, and they don't really count as creatures, really, because they have barely any AI, but, you know, let's just see how it turned out. So this is an abomination, it's got, like, human feet and a human face, and that is a dog bird, so yeah, it's, that came out really, really strange did a version of this in my first video at the end but we're doing death claw again and this just created like a really strange monster looking thing uh both times like werewolf-esque and yeah quite a weird one 
Another oddball choice, I chose a picture of a fish, which do exist in Fallout New Vegas, and for this one, you know, just kind of stylized thing, you could definitely see this in a fish anime, uh, tried to make a face, you know, you can even see the pink lip there, uh, did make a face, which looks quite creepy and uh, weird, and now that one is just horrific, look at that, guys, uh, and uh, this is horrific in a whole other way, let's just say that. I'm up for the aliens, which you can only see using the Wacky Wasteland perk in that one uh, event. But these just came out like really weird elongated humans with strange necks. So, you know, same again. That's more like a demon-esque face, man. Um, yeah, but all of these just came out like really short, scoondly, weird creatures. Kind of reminds me of like uh, Slenderman stuff, you know, so... Quite a, quite a strange one. Now, this is the last one of the video, but it is Mr. House as a Securitron, and all of these came out really well. It's got like the chest face thing, but as well as having a person on top each time, and it's got this really cool steampunk cyborg looking kind of thing. That's probably my favorite because it looks like really cool. And these were all bangers, to be honest, you know? I thought these were probably the best ones out of the whole thing, and I really liked them, and I thought they were a really cool way to end off the video, so I hope you guys all enjoyed these photos. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed my commentary as well, I would really appreciate any kind of criticism you have, what I did well, what I didn't, what you guys would like in the future, if you would like more video styled like this, or if not, what you would like for new videos, any suggestion, be great, remember to like and subscribe, and I've been Sweet Tripod. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and in case anyone was wondering, because they want to do this kind of thing themselves,